A slit width of D is illuminated by a light of wavelength 5000 angstrom. For what value of D will the first maximum fall at an angle of diffraction of 30 degree? This question is based on the angular position of uh, secondary maximum and let's uh, write down the formula for the angular position of secondary maximum for secondary maximum the angular position is d sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2. Now what are we given with? The wavelength of incident light lambda is given to be 5000 angstrom which can be written as 5 into 10 power minus 7 of meter and the angular position since it is for the first maximum I will represent it by theta 1 it is given by 30 degree and let's find out what is that slit width. So to find out slit width in the formula we will make some adjustments since it is for the first secondary maximum let's write the value of n as 1 so since n is 1 here it is 3 times lambda divided by 2 and I'll take that sine theta to the right hand side now the value of theta is 30 degree let me substitute those values 3 into lambda is 5 into 10 power minus 7 divided by 2 into sine 30 sine 30 is half which gets cancelled with uh, this 2 then what's there in numerator d is equal to 15 into 10 power minus 7 it should be in meter or you can write it as micrometer 1.5 into 10 power minus 6 meter or 1.5 micrometer two spectral lines of sodium d1 and d2 have wavelengths approximately 5890 angstrom and 5896 angstrom a sodium lamp sends incident plane wave onto a slit of width 2 micrometer a screen is located 2 meter from the slit find the spacing between the first maxima of two sodium lines as measured on the screen now dear students let's write down the data as given there are two wavelengths let me write them as lambda 1 and lambda 2 lambda 1 is 5890 angstrom lambda 2 is 5896 angstrom these two wavelengths are called sodium doublets d1 and d2 and both the wavelengths are incident on a single slit on the same slit whose width is given by d is equal to 2 micrometer 2 into 10 power minus 6 meter and of course a diffraction pattern is obtained on a screen which is at a distance let me say capital D which is at a distance 2 meter and now what are we supposed to find out is we get uh, the band pattern where we'll have to concentrate on first maxima for the two different wavelengths since it is first maxima in both the cases I'll write n is equal to 1 and let us find out the distance of first maximum due to lambda 1 and the distance of first maximum due to lambda 2 and let's find the spacing between them that is the difference between those two distances that is the question asked the distance of the secondary maximum is x is equal to you can say 2n plus 1 lambda d divided by 2d yeah now for the first maximum since value of n is 1 this is retake x is equal to 3 lambda d by 2d now for the first wavelength for lambda 1 you can write the distance as x1 this is 3 lambda 1 into d by 2d similarly for lambda 2 that is with the second wavelength the distance can be called as x2 this is the distance of the first maximum from the center of the fringe pattern this is 3 lambda 2 into d divided by 2d now I have to find out the separation between these two bands so 
let me find out delta x which is x2 minus x1 this is 3 lambda 2d divided by 2d minus 3 lambda 1 into d divided by 2d I can directly take 3d divided by 2d common I'm left with lambda 2 minus lambda 1 so this is 3 into capital D is given by 2 meter into 5896 minus 5890 in angstrom units that is 10 power minus 10 divided by 2 into small d is the separation that is the slit width is 2 into 10 power minus 6 meter so this 2 gets cancelled I have 3 into 6 in numerator that is the difference between the wavelengths is 6 angstrom divided by 2 into 10 power minus 6 that is 18 by 2 is 9 into 10 power minus 4 meter or 0 0.9 millimeter is the spacing between those two positions so this is the required answer in a single slit diffraction experiment first minimum of red light of wavelength 660 nanometer coincides with first maximum of some other wavelength lambda calculate lambda now this problem is clearly based on the formula for the angular position of minimum and angular position of maximum or you can solve the same problem using the formula of distance of minimum and distance of maximum now let me solve this problem making use of angular positions now angular position of minimum is given by now for secondary minimum the angular position is given by sin theta is equal to n lambda divided by d similarly for secondary maximum for secondary maximum the angular position is sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda divided by 2d here the secondary minimum corresponding to red light so lambda should be that of red let me write it as n into lambda r which is the wavelength of red divided by d and in the other case it is just lambda which is unknown which is to be found out now theta for the first case and theta for the second case they should be same since the two bands or the two fringes overlap since they overlap the angular positions of those two points should be the same so that is the idea here since the value of sin theta remains same for both minimum and maximum you can always equate them before you equate them you have to substitute the values of corresponding n see for the minimum case it is the first minimum for first minimum you can take n is equal to 1 therefore here sin theta is equal to simply lambda r divided by d whereas for secondary maximum it is the first secondary maximum therefore here also you can take n is equal to 1 therefore sin theta here becomes equal to 3 lambda divided by 2d if you want you can call this as equation 1 and equation 2 since the two points overlap you can always equate equation 1 with equation 2 they are equal or in other words their angular positions are equal therefore lambda r by d is equal to 3 lambda divided by 2d since the slit width remains the same since the experimental apparatus has not changed small d remains same you can cancel and we are supposed to find out the unknown wavelength lambda which is equal to 2 times lambda r divided by 3 the wavelength of red is given to be 660 nanometer 660 into 10 power minus 9 divided by 3 so you can cancel this 3 with 660 this is 22 or 220 so is 440 nanometer is the unknown wavelength light of wavelength 550 nanometer is incident as parallel beam on a slit of width 0 0.1 millimeter find the angular width and linear width of principal maximum 
in the diffraction pattern on a screen at a distance of 1.1 meter from the slit. Which of these widths will not change if the screen were moved to a distance of 2.2 meter from the slits? Now let's write down the data as given first. The wavelength of incident light is 550 nanometer and the width of the slit D is equal to 0.1 millimeter is nothing but 10 power minus 4 meter directly and the screen is at a distance of 1.1 meter we are supposed to find out the angular width and linear width of central maximum let me denote it by a symbol theta for the angular width and linear width let me denote it by the symbol W and you are supposed to know the relation or the expression for angular width and linear width of the central maximum it is just a formula based question the angular width of central maximum is given by angular width of central maximum is theta is equal to 2 lambda divided by d where d is the slit width now let me substitute these values this is 2 into wavelength of light is 550 nanometer this is 550 into 10 power minus 9 divided by slit width is 10 power minus 4 and uh, I have I can also write this 550 as 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 in numerator so that becomes 11 into 10 power minus 7 in numerator divided by 10 power minus 4 is there therefore this becomes 10 power minus 3 and it should be in radian so that is the angular width of the central maximum so angular width of central maximum is 11 milli radian so that that is the answer of angular width now going to the linear width if I write the linear width as linear width of central maximum as just the W then the W is obtained by multiplying the angular width by D which is the distance of the screen or in other words you can write it as theta into D or where theta is 2 lambda by D so you can write the linear width formula as W is equal to 2 lambda D divided by D now since we have already obtained the value of linear width now since we have already obtained the angular width you can write linear width as the product of angular width and d now let me write it as w is equal to theta is already found out as 11 milli radian into 10 power minus 3 into the distance of screen d is 1.1 so 11 into 1.1 is 12.1 into 10 power minus 3 it should be in meter so this is 12.1 millimeter is the linear width of the central maximum this is 12.1 millimeter now the next question asked is when the distance of the screen is changed or in other words when the screen is moved towards or away from the slit which of these two widths will change is it angular width or linear width now dear students it is very clear from the expressions that the angular width is independent of the distance of the screen and only the linear width depends on the screen distance so I can write here it as the linear width depends on the distance of screen I'll write it as only linear width depends on the distance of the screen therefore when you change the screen distance only linear width will change not the angular width